Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and today we have two new best techs we're gonna check out. Now, this is the Fairchild. I already did a first impressions on this. You can check it out up here in the corner. I'll put a little tag to it. Now, I like this thing a lot. Um, a bunch of people commented saying that they wished it was a little bit smaller. Well, I'm happy to say that Kombu Designs um, is talking to Best Tech and is going to make a smaller version of this. Now, it's not going to be out for a while, but I'm excited about that one coming in the future. Now, let's check out some more Kombu Designs, starting with the Best Tech Ornata. Now, like I said, this is a Kombu Design somewhat of a drop point blade we do have a fuller with a hole deployment and this is an n690 steel we have a multicolored g10 pretty comfortable in the hand it does have a titanium milled pocket clip that kind of goes with the the angular design and then a steel liner lock so this one is going to be more budget friendly Good reverse flicking action and thumb flicking. Access to the lock bar, pretty decent. Detent, detent is relatively early, so it's easy to get past. Yeah, the detent for the reverse flick is pretty decent. It feels a little bit on the lighter side, but the hole is not... Uh, eh, well, I think it's just fine. Yeah, I was going to say it's not that sharp, but I think it's just fine. Now, the flipper, very comfortable flipper tab. Great flipping action. I will say, though, it is a little bit light, so I can easily fail it. But the flipper tab is so comfortable that it's also super easy to deploy with authority. I don't know if that makes sense, but the way a flipper tab can be shaped sometimes just gives you the ability to launch it. And this one works really good. You can push button it, or you can go right off on, right on the top. And the way the jimping is on the flipper tip, it almost feels rounded, even though it is squared, which makes you have a nice, comfortable flip for the light switch or the push button. Very cool. So um, even though it's somewhat of a lighter detent, it works really, really good. Um, so that, that's awesome. You do have the choil to choke up. Um... Now, the plunge grind, not my favorite plunge grind because, you know, it tapers down to the edge. And what's going to happen is when I sharpen it, will create a smile here. So, I'm not a fan of the plunge grind. I like to see the plunge end and I want to see it specific. I want to see it. I don't want to wonder where does the plunge grind end. I want to see it right where it ends so I know where I'm going to hit or not hit. And in this case, I can feel I'm going to hit it when I sharpen it. Not that big of a deal. It doesn't hurt anything functionally. It can just tend to be ugly after multiple edges. Very smooth on the drop though. Not from complete false shut action, but I can feel that it's going to just get smoother and smoother and smoother. Since this is a liner lock, lefties, you'll be able to use this just fine, but it is not a reversible clip. Um, not my favorite color scheme, but it, it's cool though. You know, it's something different. And that is one thing I can appreciate about some of Kombu's designs. They are definitely different while also still being very, very functional. Now let's check out this next one. Now this next one is more of a premium knife. And this is the, the Buwaya. So, the Buwaya. Wow, now this is unique. Holy cow, this is cool. They even put the little Best Tech uh, symbol right in there and that little cutout. That's cool because it doesn't appear to be anywhere else. Ooh, <laughs> this thing is cool. Oh, this is so different. So we have a really thin grind. I think this is a flat grind here, but it, it's super thin right here because the drop is on this, this bevel right, or chamfer, whatever you want to call it. It drops down from here straight down to the edge. Now, yeah, that's going to give you resistance, but only when you're actually passing through things like cardboard and stuff like that. I'm not sure how much because it's not a crazy jump, but it is still there. Now, we have a titanium frame lock. This thing looks crazy cool. Um, big spread out jimping. 
that can tend to be uncomfortable sometimes, but this one's not too spread apart. But so it could still be functional, especially with a glove. The pivot, man, look at that pivot. Very cool. Titanium milled pocket clip. Lots of um, hardware back here. Are those T8s? Nope. Uh, I think they're T6s. No, they're T8s. Nice. So T8 hardware all the way around. Except, oh, even on the steel lock bar insert. Access to the lock bar. They did chamfer both edges. It's a little tight, but it is still easy. Nice flipping action. Great reverse flick. The reverse flick is awesome on this thing. Really, really good reverse flick. And the lock bar is not bad. It, it, it is a little bit, you know, they don't give you um, a cutout on this side, but it's still easy to get to. Thumb flick, still good, or it is good. You just don't want to put pressure on the lock bar when you do it. The flipper tab. Good flipping action. I can flip it reliably. I'm wondering if it's on the lighter side, though. Let me just try to fail it. It's no, it's not on the lighter side. It's good. It's great. Yeah, that's good flipping action. Yeah, nice and strong flip. Comfortable in the hand. Yes, I feel all of this, but the shape is very comfortable. Um, I do feel the clip a bit. I can actually. Is it moving? Wait. I'm kind of moving it a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But anyways, yeah, I could get some heavy-duty push cuts with this thing, especially if I choke up a little bit. Yeah, this thing's cool, man. I like this a lot, a lot, a lot. Very smooth on the drop. So I just grabbed a couple random pieces of cardboard. Um, You know, regular cardboard you would get in the mail. Okay, yeah, I do feel that swedge. Let me try this direction. Okay, so yes, I do get resistance here. It'll still work. It'll still work just fine, but you are going to get a, a bit of resistance. Now, if you lay back your edge angle, if you lay back this edge angle to 17, 15 to 17 degrees per side, you're going to maximize your cutting performance. But this is always going to be a little ledge that's going to give you resistance no matter what. Now, if you're not planning on using it as a work knife or, you know, a, an all-day cutter, then it'll be just fine because it's not like you're going to get a ton of resistance to the point to where it's unusable. It is very usable. You are still going to be able to use it without a problem. Um, it's just for anything long-term where you're doing many, many repeated cuts, it's not going to be your first choice. But for opening up, making your cut, pushing it through some cardboard, cutting up some really quick, cutting some rope straps, food, whatever, it'll be just fine. It's just not going to be something you're going to want to use long-term. Um, at one time. Very cool though. I do like how unique it is. It is something different, something you don't see every day. And that is something special, especially when it is very functional. Nice landing zone. Flipper tab works very well. Stop pin. Uh, decently sized stop pin. Could be a little bit bigger, but it's fine. Lockup is rock solid. Yeah. Love that reverse flick. Very comfortable in the hand. Yeah, I like this one a lot. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.